In this morning's Health Watch, looking thin but really being obese. New research from the Mayo Institute finds that as many as 30 million Americans who are considered to be normal weight actually have a dangerously high percentage of body fat. Here with details is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Maggie. How is this possible that you could be obese but look thin? Well, we've said it here many times on this program. You cannot confuse being slim with being healthy. And in fact, what this Mayo Clinic study found is that you can have internal fat, we call it visceral fat, that actually surrounds your internal organs, even if externally your body looks slim. So again, this really is important. But if you look thin, how do you know if inside you have this dangerous fat? Well, this is where it gets a little tricky. There are many ways to check your body fat percentage, and those ways range from anything from a water test to caliper or skin fold testing to things that are much more expensive, like even DEXA testing. The bottom line is, if you have that testing done and you find that your numbers are above a certain level, it does indicate that even though externally you could look healthy, internally you could have these same exact risks as someone who's in fact obese, believe so it or not. So if you go and get these tests, what percentage of fat is a red flag? Well, what they found it from the Mayo study is that for men, having over a 23 percentage of body fat and for women, over 33 percentage of body fat was the critical number. To compare that to, let's say, elite athletes, many elite male athletes have as low as 8 percent body fat and female athletes around 14 and 15 percent. So there's a very wide range here. Those are the upper limits of normal. What are the health risks of having fat that high? Well, believe it or not, the same things we see with external obesity, anything from the metabolic syndrome, diabetes, high cholesterol, hypertension, all of which, of course, then lead to heart disease. So again, you need to be healthy on the inside as much as the outside. Thank you, Jen.